All right, ladies and gentlemen, good morning once again. I say once again because I've been trying to do this all morning for you. Uh, this is another attempt at Drop Everything and Read virtual style. I was hoping to be able to read to you and follow along in the book, but I'm still trying to figure out those technical aspects. So um, you just get to listen. So listen along. I'll try my best to track the book. I can't seem to highlight or anything just yet, but hopefully by the middle of the week, this will be more interactive. For now, let's just find out where Star was. Um, as we know, Star and her family were visiting with Miss Rosalie. Who's Miss Rosalie? Well, I know if I were talking to you guys, all the hands would be up saying, well, that's Khalil's grandmother. We know Khalil was Star's friend. Star's friend ultimately was killed by Officer 115. And we are having the first interaction with Star and Khalil's grandmother since Khalil's death. Here we go. A big wide smile spreads across Miss Rosalie's face. She holds her arms out and I walk into the most heartfelt hug I've ever gotten from somebody who's not related to me. There's not any sympathy in it either, just love and strength. I guess she knows I need some of both. My mom says, or my baby, she says, she pulls back and looks at me, tears brimming in her eyes. She went and grew up on me. She hugs my parents too. Miss Tammy lets her have the recliner. Miss Rosalie pats the end of the sofa closest to her. So I sit there. She holds my hand and rubs her thumb along the top of it. Mmm, she says, mmm. It's like my hand is telling her a story and she's responding. She listens to it for a while, then says, I'm so glad you came over. I've been wanting to talk to you. Yes, ma'am, I say what I'm supposed to. You were the very best friend that boy ever had. This time, I can't say what I'm supposed to. Miss Rosalie, we weren't as close. I don't care, baby, she says. Khalil never had another friend like you. I know that for a fact. I swallow. Yes, ma'am. The police told me you were the one with him when it happened. So she knows. Yes, ma'am. I'm standing on a track watching the train barrel toward me, and I tense up and wait for impact the moment she asks what happened. But the train shifts to another track. Maverick, he wanted to talk to you. He wanted your help. Daddy straightens up. For real? Uh-huh. He was selling that stuff. Something leaves me. I mean, I kind of figured it out. But I know, but to know it's the truth? This hurts. But I swear, I want to cuss Khalil out. How he could sell that very stuff or the very stuff that took his mama from him? Did he realize that he was taking somebody else's mama from them? Did he realize that if he does become a hashtag, some people will only see him as a drug dealer? He was so much more than that, but he wanted to stop. Miss Rosalie says, he told me, Grandma, I can't stay in this. Mr. Maverick said it only leads to two things, the grave or the prison, and I ain't trying to see either. He respected you, Maverick a lot. You were the father he never had. I can't explain it, but something leaves daddy too. His eyes dim and he nods. Mama rubs his back. I tried to talk some sense into him, Miss Rosalie says, but this neighborhood make young men deaf to their elders, meaning that young men won't listen to people with experience. The money part didn't help. He was going around here paying bills, buying sneakers and masks, but I know he remembered the things you told him over the years, Maverick, and that gave me a lot of faith. I keep thinking if he only had another day or Miss Rosalie covers her trembling lips. Miss Tammy starts for her, but he says, but she says, I'm okay, Tam. She looks at me. I'm happy he wasn't alone, but I'm even happier you were with him. That's all I need to know. I don't need details, nothing else. Knowing you were with him is good enough. Like daddy, all I can do is nod. But as I hold Khalil's grandma's hand, I see the anguish in her eyes. His little brother can't smile anymore. So what if people end up thinking he was a thug and never care? We care. Khalil matters to us. Not the stuff he did. Forget everybody else. Mama leans across me and sets an envelope in Miss Rosalie's lap. We want you to have that. Any guesses out there what's in that envelope? I think you're all guessing right. Miss Rosalie opens it, and I catch a glimpse of a whole lot of money inside. What in the world? Y'all know I can't take this. Yes, you can, Daddy says. We ain't forgot how you kept Star and Sakani for us. We weren't about to let you be empty-handed. And we know y'all are trying to pay for the funeral, Mama says. Hopefully that'll help. Plus, we're raising money around the neighborhood, too. So don't you worry about a thing. 
Miss Rosalie wipes a new set of tears from her eyes. I'm going to pay y'all back every penny. Did we say you had to pay us back, Daddy asks? You focus on getting better, right? And if you give us any money, we give it right back. God's my witness. There are a lot more tears and hugs. Miss Rosalie gives me a freeze cup for the road, red syrup glistening on top. She always makes them extra sweet. As we leave, I remember how Khalil used to run up the, to the car when I was about to go. The sun shining on the grease lines and the separated and the grease lines that separate his cornrows, the glimmer in his eyes would be just as bright. He'd knock on the window, I'd let it down, and he'd say with a snaggletooth grin, See you later, alligator. Back then I'd giggle behind my own snaggle teeth. Now I tear up. Goodbyes hurt the most when the other person's already gone. I imagine him standing at my window and I smile for his sake. After a while, crocodile. We're gonna pause there. Our next session will begin, or there'll be another link for the next session uh, in approximately 20 minutes. Hopefully I can figure this out. In the meantime, I want you to reflect on a time that you had a nice visit with a family member or relative. Perhaps you're doing it now and you're reminiscing about old times with friends, or maybe you just want to think back to a friend where you had an inside joke or a statement like Khalil and Star had. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. Think about it. We'll see you soon. Thanks for tuning in. Watch your hero for the next link to the next session. Thanks for joining us.